If I was a girl, I would have had a crush on Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, having said that, it's not like I didn't have one being a guy because <laughs> I think the whole world did at that <laughs> yeah. point. And when I'm writing very chill, easy stuff, then I'm hearing uh, Japanese lo-fi. That guy who sits on the bed. Look, that guy on YouTube. You know, there is a guy also who has come and... No, I don't see it. I'm happy with that guy. You see, why are you recommending me to the guy? I'm still a classic football player. Like, I want my nice through balls and great passes. And, you know, these people are all chuk chuk chuk. Rainbow kick, yeah, left, left, L, L, R, 1, 2, thing. So, you're looking at the screen sometimes, you're like, bro, play football, man. Why are you doing this circle? You know? Now, it's great. He, he's phenomenal at his football tricks. But he can't beat a Messi at what he does. Messi is not showing you tricks. He's playing football. Hi Arman, how are you? Welcome to Chalchitra Talks. Thank you. I'm very good. I'm going to get better now. Yeah. <laughs> so Arman, like I was telling you, our channel is all about recommendations. Yeah. And we are going to talk about stuff you're passionate about. Anything in pop culture, movies, books. So let's start with movies, shall we? Sure. So first, there's also, there's also video games. Just saying, part, yeah. part of pop culture. Yes, in fact, I did an episode with uh, Vijay Verma we ah. like four days back. There is a 20-minute segment of him just recommending video games. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. He's another gamer. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a retired gamer, but we'll come to that later. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with movies. Like as a uh, as audience, आपका रिश्ता क्या रहा है फिल्मों के साथ? No, I would say it's almost like uh, having another close, very close friend, almost like brotherhood. My first film, if I was to tell you that I ever saw, in is Bobby, hmm. right? Tell me the year it was released. Nineteen seventy-one. Correct. So. I have said correct. I said I know. I am just going with your conviction. <laughs> so, I must be four or five when I started watching it, right? Hmm. So for me, I think you know, films. Or other stories, you know, whether it, now it's obviously we've extended it to from series to you know different kind of content. I think this has become like your your other buddy yeah. because it's something you can watch by yourself. Yeah. Something that you want to enjoy with communities, with your yeah. friends, your family. So it's almost like that extra friend you have in life, you know. Huh. And there are certain films which are your comfort films, जैसे कुछ दोस्त होते हैं जो comfort दोस्त होते हैं कि जब मतलब जिनको आप दो साल बाद याद करते हो या कभी कुछ तीन महीने बाद अचानक फोन करते हो जब कभी बहुत बैंड बजी होती है लग जाते हैं लाइफ में यू नो ये एक दो दोस्त हैं इनसे बात कर लो कुछ सेंसिबल भी बता देंगे सो सिमिलरली आई थिंक आई हैव फिल्म्स दैट वेर आई नो आई एम फीलिंग अ लिटिल डाउन एंड आउट चलो आई जस्ट वॉच दिस एंड आई फील गुड अबाउट दैट इवनिंग एंड देन ऑटोमेटिकली लाइफ कैन टेक्स यू नो एंड ऑफ आई सर्वस यू फीलिंग रियली गुड एंड यू वॉन्ट टू फील अटिल लो देन यू नो दो फिल्म टू वॉच सो आई थिंक इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक हैविंग अ फ्रेंड दैट्स प्रीटी मच आई वुड इन सिंपल वे डिस्क्राइब माई रिलेशनशिप विद films or series or whatever. So jaisa aapne Bobby ke bare mein bataya it's like one of the first movie yeah. watching experience. It is the first film I watched. I mean the yeah. more my parents have told me. Yeah. I think I was too young to realize. Huh. Yeah. Uh, like for me my first movie watching experience theater ka mujhe yaad hai it was fir bhi the Hindustani. Oh. Like I was in first standard but like, I mean I might have seen something else also mm-hmm. isse pehle but that is one film I remember. Okay. Just I'll ki, tell you my first theatrical yeah, yeah. experience. Should I? Yeah, yeah that's right. It's, it's damn good fun. Yeah. So the first film I ever saw in a theater was uh, Ram Teri Ganga Meli, uh-huh. and after that, which year? Nineteen eighty-six. Eighty-six. So I must be six, five. Mm-hmm. I'm an eighty November born. There must be a five and a half. Mm-hmm. And I became obsessed with uh, Mandakini. Mm-hmm. Obsessed as a five and a half year old, and probably now that I hit, uh, you know. 40 hit puberty mm-hmm. i understood why the country was obsessed with her but why was i obsessed with her now i still haven't figured out <laughs> yeah. because, because i didn't puberty yet so i have no i think i was just fascinated with the way she looked yeah. uh, she was stunning hmm. and i was so fascinated that i remember the film finished and my, i mean i remember matlab i i have very faint visual memories of it obviously hmm. but what my mom used to tell me and my dad and you know they hmm. would talk to their friends and i was obsessed to the point that i wanted to meet her and hmm. there was no other way to do it uh, till i watched the next show I was made to see another show of hers, mm. uh, you know, on, a, on another weekend or something. It was obviously a blockbuster film, and then I think eventually I got an opportunity to meet her because my dad at that time was a, a sixth or seventh assistant director on the sets of B Subhash, okay. right? B Subhash, he obviously was a prolific filmmaker uh, back in the day. So he was an assistant. That's how he came to Bombay. So then he was working on a film through which he got to know. Uh, someone who knew mandak ne was shooting for something and then i was taken as a five and a half year old yeah. but i had this very clear visual of of entering the the so to speak the makeup room yeah you know ab ab to matlab i have experienced it myself but you know with all those bulbs and i remember her sitting so that visual i can see very clearly as i'm talking to you yeah you're almost morphing into a 
<laughs> clean version and a more prettier version of yourself ah. but yeah that was my first like experience with you know theater and yeah it was lovely actually it was a beautiful film yeah and uh, tell us about some of the uh, other films jo aapne us dauran dekhi hai like when uh, like uh, when in school particularly yeah. school mein aapko aise kaun si filmon ki yaar school mein jo maine doston ke sath picture dekhi thi unki baare to main baat yahan kar nahi sakta ha ha na they resemble the color of your t-shirt but but in that the other films that i've seen if i'm having a my school boys reunion most of them are starting in the us now we are actually having a reunion tonight uh, you oh. know yeah, all the boys are getting together so that will be a lot of fun yeah. i know she mentioned this but <laughs> <laughs> yeah so barring that i think uh, yeah do, do I, those were the era of the 90s hmm. so i was 80s born in the 80s so by the time cinema became a part of my life hmm. i was already 12 13 14 hmm. you know aur us time itna wo internet digital to kuch tha hi nahi so you had to grow to a certain age to finally have your parents You yeah know, allow you to sit down on yeah. a saturday or a sunday wo cable tv pe wo yeah. picture aati thi you know so you have to you have to earn it yeah. you have to score certain marks you have to do your tuitions right you have to reach yeah. home on time after play to eventually so i was a lot of the i i loved the 90s i'm a big mm. 90s boy matlab from dil very obscure films like salami i don't know if you ever mm. heard of it, it was a yukhan film uh, you know there was jaan tere naam which had some great music mm. um but i mean my my favorite film if i may is from uh, not the 90s i think 89 is maine pyar kiya okay yeah. that's like my it's my bible actually ah. i think i personally like i must have seen that you can't watch that film with me hmm matlab if you and me are sitting and watching that film you'll get frustrated and you leave <laughs> because dialogues to bahut dur ki baat hai wo to chalo ah. wo to ratta hi mara hua hai usme to koi doubt hi nahi hai मुझे ना बैकग्राउंड स्कोर मालूम है उसका तो जब वो वो सुमन अगर चप्पल के साथ नीचे आ रही है या अगर वो टीटी खेल रहे हैं वो बॉल यहाँ गई क्लोज अप आया तो बिफोर द रू रू आज स्टार्ट सो आई बी लाइक फुली लाइक इन द मूड ऑफ द फिल्म सो इसीलिए वो सिंगमा वाइफ टू वॉच इट विद लिटरली फिफ्टी मिनट इसी लाइक इधर आई हेयर यू और आई हेयर द फिल्म कैन हैव दिस सो चेक रो इट्स एटमोस इट्स लाइक टॉल बी सराउंड्स यू डोंट नो योर बेसुरा यू साउंड नथिंग लाइक द कैरेक्टर्स सो या आई लव दैट फिल्म एंड देयर इज दिस वन there's one sequence in the film which i thought you know is is so cinematic is you remember the film yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and and for those who probably don't it's a beautiful love story mm. so there's prem which is played mm. by you know salman bhai he is 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 earning money mm. to win back bhageshri mm. in the second half mm. of the film and at that point now he earns and of course you know uh, antagonist hai you know right. and, and it's it's all of that and and uh, Monish Bell hmm. was playing the hmm. entire and how they capture him in the forest hmm. jo kamai hoti hai hard earned with this rich boy who's yeah. lakdi wakdi kar ke patthar tode hain yeah. and then he tucks it in his socks hmm. he, he breaks it into half and he puts one here and he puts one here and it's raining and there's a fight sequence yeah. the entire fight sequence was on this background score of ru ru dil diwana ke background score pe there was no dun, 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 none of that score which for that era right was unexpected like yeah. you know it was quintessential action matlab pumping music hona chahiye dum dum wo sab kuch nahi tha it was just da, da, it was like a nice yeah. electric guitar vibe yeah. in a rajshri film yeah. in that moment i i mean for me to i must have seen that action sequence so many times but yeah so bene pyar kiya for me has too many good things i can go on talking about bene yeah. pyar kiya uh, longer than the length of the film <laughs> <laughs> um आउटसाइड ऑफ इंडिया कोई ऐसे आपने कोई हॉलीवुड की फिल्म जो देखी हो इन रीसेंट इयर्स व्हिच लाइक लेफ्ट एन इंप्रेशन ऑन यू यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड माय फादर वाज इन द मूवीज या या है ना सो इज अ डायरेक्टर मॉम इज अ प्रोड्यूसर यू नो सो सो बाय डिफॉल्ट ना आई वाज आई वाज आई वाज आई वुड से अ लिटिल लकी यस बिकॉज़ ही वाज वाचिंग अ लॉट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल कंटेंट ही वाज वाचिंग कंटेंट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड वो उस टाइम पे वो वीएचएस वो आती थी रीड शोर करके जू में है यू नो यू वुड गेट इट ऑन रेंट या So I actually was privy to watching Scarface, the the big successful films that we know now, the legendary yeah. films, very early in my life. Got it. You know, so for me, like, I mean, you know, discussions of Scarface, Terminator, which mm. came out, uh, you know, more the second part. Mm. Uh, my dad used to have the audio tape of Terminator Two, kind of background score, kind of audio tape was there. <laughs> so we had that because yeah. when you're editing, you would use reference music. Mm. So T2 ka reference music hota. So for me, I've grown up on Terminator 2. Yeah. It's a very fascinating film. Yeah. I mean, I actually personally think even after all uh, the amazing work that Marvel has done, and you know, so so much more, you mm. know, VFX and all of that, 
the 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 VFX of Terminator and the simplicity of the mm. VFX of of a man a cop who he could turn into any avatar and turn into Mercury and slide through you know anything and then form back into a, a humanoid. Uh, it was unexpected. You've yeah. never seen anything yeah. like this in your life before, yeah. and you're a kid looking at this you know 13 inch TV screen which just felt like magic. Yeah. So it was that, and then there were these uh, you know indie dance films. Okay. जिसमें ये सब वो स्टेप्स बड़े पॉपुलर हुए थे फिर वो ब्रूम वाले स्टेप्स थे वेर द गाइज वुड ब्रूम माई ब्रेक डांस ब्रेक डांस करके एक फिल्म होती थी दिस आर वेरी इंडी डांस फिल्म यूज टू कम आउट इन थिएटर्स इन टाउन यू नो वो स्टर्लिंग और यू नो एंड दे वुड बी दैट वन ऑफ शो गॉट इट सो दैट वी टू गो एंड वॉच वी टू कैच आर्ट अंधेरी Fast trains get yeah. down, you know, and and head there, and then we would watch these, yeah. you know, cool dancing. But you couldn't record them. Yeah. So the problem used to be that they would see it, then they would forget that they had seen it. So, yeah. but there was the, all these cool steps and all. I yeah. mean, now it's all retro, and you know. True. But uh, yeah, so it was that on one side, and the other side was your Godfather and Scarface that right. I was watching in Terminators, uh, coupled with Dill and. Yeah, got it. Beta and Lala. <laughs> okay. and yeah, yeah. So it was fun. So, do you have a, a thing for sound in general? Because I'm yeah. noticing you're talking about sound in a way. Because yeah. I also notice sound design and sound tracks a lot. Like, it's yeah. just do you I have love a, sound. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you're very sharp, I must say. But uh, either that or I'm very blatant about my love for sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go with the former. <laughs> But no, I am a. I, I love sound. I actually think uh, sound is is for me. Marginally more important than the visual, See, you know. Yeah. Because I really feel like even even when it comes, uh, whether it comes to a, a performance, yeah. you know, uh, you can shut your eyes and I can feel your emotion. Yeah. It it. I thought up. I mean, I'm going a little off track. We can go. This yeah. can be the new track. Yeah. yeah. You know, but like, it's like when you pick up the phone and you talk to your mother, hmm. and you say hello, and she just knows. Hmm. It sounds filmy, but it's so true. Yeah. Every all, I think everyone here has experienced yes, a mother catching your tone in a second and knowing something is off. Yes, right. As much as we pretend. Yes. And 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 I used to find it baffling when I was younger. कि फोन पे कैसे पकड़ लेती हैं? मतलब सामने तो चलो शकल है, body language है, आँखें हैं, इधर अब पंद्रह और elements हैं. फोन पे तो कुछ नहीं है, सिर्फ आवाज़ है. सही बात. And हम लोग तो अच्छे. We think we're acting really well. You know, hi mom. तो वो hi mom में भी वो. So that nuance of sound, it is so beautiful, right? Yeah. And, From from when you're watching a film, whether it's the actors actors voice, mm. uh, you know, even I must tell you that recently also I, I I've been married now about two and a half years, and it was coincidental that I was making my room and I met my wife and mm. then we kind of, obviously my so to speak bachelor pad which was becoming a nice cool mm. gaming room with with a big TV and great sound <laughs> and became into a nice beautiful, uh, you know I, I mean I love it but yeah. I'm just saying it it shifted, <laughs> you know. I, But now also when I was doing it, I wanted my sound the way I wanted it. So nice. I had my, I had like a seven speaker system, and I said, "मतलब कोई बड़ा कमरा नहीं है, हमारा इतना ही है, जितना हम बैठे हैं, मतलब इतना ही है area." But I wanted like my speaker system. I wanted a woofer right next to the couch. I could feel the bass when I'm watching. And my wife was just like, "It's appalled with the kind of money that you're spending mm-hmm. on this. It's it's bakwas. कि तो तू जस्ट वेस्टिंग मनी." Yeah. And I'm like, "But I earned it, so this I have the right to spend it." She's like, "No, you do, but it's a waste." Mm-hmm. Now. She cannot watch anything without that sound ah. because now she understands the nuance of sound. This exactly. is coming from someone who has nothing to do with the film industry. Like, mm. I mean, she she's just understanding what editing is all about. Mm. You know, so for her, she's just understanding the. Yeah. So sound, yeah, I think sound plays an integral part. So does music. True. You know, for yeah. me, background score is something which I get very very kicked about. Yeah. I've sat on a lot of background sessions with my dad. Yeah. Nice. When he was doing background scores for there was a film called Dil Jale. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Ajay Devgan mm-hmm. and uh, you know Sunali Amrish Puri and usme na uh, Ajay was playing a, a terrorist mm-hmm. Dilja is a love story mm-hmm. of a terrorist usme balance hota tha tu 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 sha ka aaj ke zamane mein bada filmy sound karta hai but us time pe when you heard it and i remember being in the sound studio and they were creating this mm-hmm. so you had dad and you had Naresh ji and you had all these guys putting the sound thing nahi i want something deeper and they spent a full two days to finally just come up with this one theme you know Uh, but the time spent in that studio yeah. for me to kind of hear it and see how they can put this together was just yeah, yeah so love sound you know there's a filmmaker i really like uh, he has made some amazing films devashish makija he has made bosle with manoj rajpai yeah, joram yeah. so he has said this very interesting thing ki movies can be two dimensional sound is always three dimensional nice. the way you can like yeah. listen to sound so hence yeah. i have always had a thing for sound yeah. myself also the way i notice it in fact i think Uh, in memories also, like if you think about a memory, mm. 
you sometimes remember the sounds maybe yeah. the visual is not fitting in right like if you think of a Correct. past memory the audio library of memories is different from the yeah. video library yeah. no that is very powerful like sound, like music here yeah you hear a song and you you it, yeah, it, you it takes you back in your life in a heartbeat like kuch purana gana agar kabhi chal jaye ya kuch ek sound ya apne sun li you will either go back to your childhood you go back to a school trip you will go back to the you know your first date or your first ever christmas dance where you thought you were nice and you were having a you know yeah. it it's is the power of i think it just creates an emotion yeah. you know it's a, it's it settles in much deeper yeah. i think visual we have a lot like yeah like there's so much to take right now yeah. as we are talking right there's a light there's a camera there's everyone there's you me and my hands my shoes everything yeah audio sir meri awaaz aur kuch nahi hai true sir aapka ek true aur kuch nahi so i feel like lesser sensory here unless you're in the streets of mumbai then good luck with hmm. keeping your sensory singular there is a lot of yeah. sound there but yeah and you know there's this website called pitchfork maha pe they review albums hmm. so lately what i've started doing is i pr- prefer reading music reviews more than movie reviews oh. because how they describe a review of a sound and i am also into electronic music and like hmm. you know all those noises jiske through music ban raha यार इसको इन्होंने ऐसे डिस्क्राइब कर दिया नो सो टेल मी दिस इज अ साइट व्हिच इज अबाउट रिव्यूज फॉर म्यूजिक एल्बम्स और म्यूजिक इन फिल्म्स म्यूजिक एल्बम्स एंड बोथ बट यू कैन से बोथ इट्स जस्ट अ अ म्यूजिक रिव्यू म्यूजिक रिव्यू प्लेटफार्म इट्स लाइक डेडिकेटेड टू म्यूजिक सो दे आल्सो रिव्यू बैकग्राउंड स्कोर ऑफ फिल्म्स या या आई एम श्योर बिकॉज़ दे हैव लाइक न्यूज़ रिलेटेड टू म्यूजिक दैट बी डैम कूल है या टू एक्चुअली डू अ in depth thorough review of just एंड दे गिव अ रेटिंग आउट ऑफ आई नॉट जस्ट बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक जस्ट द होल साउंड ऑफ अ फिल्म यू नो आई मीन द द होल Soundscape, like the way. मेरे को लगता है मेरी vocabulary and the articulation visually hmm. भी आपको ऐसे दिखाई देता है कि अच्छा इसका मतलब हाँ. ये हो सकता है. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I have to check it out. Pitch. Pitch fork. Pitch fork. Yeah. So uh, now we can go back. I have a feeling you made this up. No, no. Just you want to, you just want to abuse on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. So we can go back to the films and uh. we were talking about your film, uh, film recommendations and the films you watched in the school era. Yeah. इन जनरल जैसे आपने बताया मैंने प्यार किया हैज बीन अ फिल्म व्हिच हैज इन्फ्लुएंस यू अ लॉट इन जनरल व्हिच आर सम ऑफ योर फिल्म रेकमेंडेशंस दीस आर सम ऑफ अगर इफ यू वांट टू नो हरमन ये पांच दस पिक्चर हैं जो मतलब एंड टू एंड वो हैं गोस विदाउट सेइंग मैंने प्यार किया इज राइट एट द टॉप ऑफ दैट लिस्ट एट पार विद इट वुड बी लाइफ इज ब्यूटीफुल नाइस यू नो आई आई डू राइट अ लॉट स्क्रिप्ट्स व्हाइल वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग एट यू नो द प्रोडक्शन कंपनी दैट आई हैव इन बवेजा स्टूडियोस बट माय माय my constant references come back from life is beautiful ah. funnily enough it's not like i've seen that film there's no kuch favorite film hoti hai aapne 15 20 baar dekhi hoti hai maine actually shayad life is beautiful teen baar dekhi hai hmm. you know and the funny part now now and now that I'm, you know i'll tell you it's, it's been about 5 7 years since i saw it last hmm. and now i'm actually very fearful to see it again Uh, you, I don't know if that happens to you, right? It's happens. It's happens. because you you love the film so much. What if it doesn't give uh-huh. me the same emotions again? Like that I experienced for the first time. Yeah, but if I have seen it and I don't have that feeling in that scene, which I was still feeling at that time, and I'm still feeding off that, yeah, I don't want to diminish it because for me, life is beautiful. Sits here, yeah. you know, pretty much above everything else. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm now not watching it. but i'm constantly referencing it in yeah. in whatever i'm writing and i'm you know discussing with you know other directors and actors and we discuss constantly referencing the film because i i think it's by far one of the most i mean it's a great story but i think it's one of the best screenplays one is and performances i have ever yeah. seen yeah so yeah life is beautiful sits right up there it may sound like because it's my father's film but there's a punjabi film that he had produced and directed and it kind of it kind of written was char sahibzade Okay. Uh, it's an animated film it is on the four sons of guru gobind singh ji okay uh, it, it it you know it is normally to do a animated uh, film in punjabi but uh, you know it, it obviously it went on to become a very big blockbuster but i think it was most beautiful told stories which deals with uh, you know it it deals with religion mm. but it's really the story of the four sons of a guru and their valor mm. but it is a, it is a very pure film so nice. i think that for me i i you know being a son of the film maker i remember watching it so many times because i was a part of the making but for me the amount i learned while watching that yeah. and understood how the mind of a filmmaker works to kind of address it and balance emotions balance history yeah. and still make it very entertaining and engaging i thought it was a, a one of my favorite uh, nice. films it's right up there now let's talk about tv shows yeah which are the tv shows banned by tv shows i mean the shows you see in general on the internet like and uh, any of the web series correct which are some of your favorite shows love money heist hmm. 
I genuinely do. I think it's it's a perfect blend of nice, fun, commercial. Yeah. You know, you know, not very overtly cerebral. Yeah. Great characters, which yeah. is what I think series is all about. So I I love Money Heist. I think mm. it's it's one of the best series that I've ever. I, I, I can. I wish they kept making it faster, but I understand yeah. that that would deplete the very quality for which I'm you yeah. know loving it. So take their time. There is one help me since you are uh, there's an Argentine uh, show now which was about money laundering and about uh, I don't know if you've seen it here and then there's Mind Hunter yeah which I which I absolutely love I think the it's, mechanism I think, I think you're right yeah. I think you're right it is the mechanism the mechanism nice thank you so the mechanism hmm. you know again a very smart show I think it's it's inspired from true events hmm. you know so that I really love there's a show called the Americans. the spy show okay you know it's about but it's set in the us it's a russian couple who kind of comes in but you know it's what a two spy show should be mm. you know what i mean wo matlab wo it's not hamara uh, version of spy you know <laughs> it's the real version of what a spy should be really doing though i'm i have to admit i love the hamara version yeah, of spy yeah. as well it's it's a perfect entertainment we need to me ted lasso did what friends used to do Ah. for me if you know what i mean yeah yeah friends okay. was that thing na ki matlab yaar kuch nahi samajh aa raha hai thoda chalo sign field friends dekh lete hain you will feel good at a tiring day stressful day yeah. you know aaj you know bank balance dekh liya hai pad gayi hai to friends dekh lo thoda mind divert ho jayega you know now it's like chalo ted lasso dekh lete so finally i haven't finished ted lasso because i keep watching it Ah, do you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I am, uh, I am savoring it. I'm not wanting to yeah. binge watch and finish Ted Lasso. Yeah, because it, unlike Friends, which is more sitcom, hmm. which you can repeat watch, and with many many seasons, I mean, those ten, ten seasons will be. So you don't remember, you know, memory is not my 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 strongest uh, element. So I forget, so I enjoy it again, you know. But I know Ted Lasso is a story. So yeah. once I finish it, I'll know it. So I may not enjoy it as much. So I'm taking my time to finish Ted Lasso. But I love Ted Lasso. I haven't got into Game of Thrones. So oh, you never started? I started and didn't feel it till where did you watch it? Third episode. Ah. Uh-huh. Because I know I know I'm supposed to cross the third episode threshold mm-hmm. for some reason, but I've attempted twice mm-hmm. and the gap was a lot. So then I restarted from zero. Yeah. And I reached three again. I said, "No, I don't understand." Yeah, happens. Now, 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 अब उस इतने सारे सीजन हैं दैट माय नेक्स्ट वन ईयर ऑफ माय लाइफ दैट्स ऑल आई बी वाचिंग इज गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स डू नॉट लाइक विद आई थिंक नाउ 6 7 8 सीजन 8 8 8 सो या आई मीन आई एम नॉट अ आई एम नॉट अ वेरोशियस वाचर सो आई टेक माय टाइम टू वाच थिंग्स आई कांट आई हैव आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव बारिंग द फर्स्ट सेकंड सीजन ऑफ 24 यू नो जैक बाओ की फॉर सदरलैंड बैक इन द डे आई थिंक बारिंग दैट आई हैव नेवर रियली बिंज वाच एनीथिंग इन वन नाइट यू नो Unless it's two, three episode, yeah. like limited crime series or something. Yeah. Do you want more recommendations? No, I can see the vibe. No, 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 no. I can like, like ask. I, I can ask you something totally different. Like, which is that one film that the world expects you to have seen but you haven't watched? Something very famous. Ki aariye, to dekha hi hoga. बहुत सारी हैं. ऐसी तो बहुत सारी हैं. बता ना. बहुत embarrassing conversation ही किया गया. Technically, this is an embarrassing conversation. Star Wars. No, I didn't see it. Shit, I have to tell you some more, which are very embarrassing. Oh, I have. 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 I इतनी सारी बन गई ना अब लगता है एक बार घुस गया पसंद आ गई तो अगले फिर दस पंद्रह बीस पिक्चर तो यही देखोगे आप So now I'm fearing to enter the world of yeah. of of Avengers, but I know I will bite. Hmm. Which is that film or show that you watch? Ki jiske baare mein bahut hype tha and aapne dekhe thik hi to hai yar. Kya matlab? Why are you so? Why are you guys so, so hyped about it? Yeah, I love. Hey, it was. 
यार ऑलमोस्ट एवरी शो दैट आई हैव प्रॉब्ली सीन आई हैव फेल्ड दैट अबाउट कि इतना क्या आईपी पे उपला था इसके बारे ओह गॉड ओह यार तू पिटवाएगा मुझे क्योंकि ऐसा मैं कोई भी शो बोलूंगा लोगों ने अच्छा इसको ये नहीं समझ आया ओह व्हाट इज दैट वन शो व्हिच आई आई एम गोइंग टू गिव ओनली वन मैं एक ही बार पिटूंगा है ना बार-बार नहीं पिटना और जैसे स्कूप एंड प्लेट सेफ नो 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 यू कैन यू आई आई स्कूप नहीं नहीं यार मैंने सुना पता नहीं कमाल का शो है देखा मुझे तो ठीक ठाक लगा आई थॉट यार इट वाज अ वेरी एवरेज शो आई थिंक यू नो या I think Hansel was also okay. Was like, <laughs> average job in that. Like, uh, performances were very, very mediocre. You know, Hindal once told me this thing. There is a review trope where he says uh, for every movie, he can say that line. What? Do, how does he review every film? So the basic gist is: the first half was good, the second half was bad. The 20 minute cut set was Shahrukh Khan was very good. So this is. Yeah, yeah. We can apply it here. छोटा <laughs> सही बात है तो यार टेस्ट लंबा था तो यार ओडीआई खेलते ओडीआई लंबा तो चलो टी20 खेलते हैं फैक्ट है अगर वो टी20 या टी10 होता तो और ही मजा आएगा बिकॉज़ आवर अटेंशन स्पैन इन जनरल इज गेटिंग शॉर्टर यू नो व्हिच इज व्हाई वी आर स्क्रोलिंग एंड एंजॉयिंग कंटेंट एंड नाउ विद दैट योर अटेंशन स्पैन कम इवन स्मॉलर या वो एंड इट्स हेड शॉट टू सम ऑफ दोस गाइस जो एक एक मिनट में आपको वो एक yeah. पूरी स्टोरी कर देते हो लड़का आ रहा है लड़की जा रही है लड़का देख रहा है वो उसको देखती है फिर वो चला जाता है फिर दूसरा लड़का इधर ट्विस्ट 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 इन लोगों ने थ्री एक्ट स्ट्रक्चर की रात कर लिया हम नहीं कर रहे बस मस्तान फिल्म यार मैं ढाई घंटे में क्यों देखू जब इसने डेढ़ मिनट में मुझे सारे ट्विस्ट दे दिए सो आर प्रॉब्लम क्विक फॉर्म शॉर्ट फॉर्म कॉन्टेंट यू नो So yeah, I have no idea what our question was, but yeah, this no, is the end this of that answer. The end of the answer. <laughs> so, yeah. Who are some of your favorite actors in general, India, outside of India, male actors, female actors? The Hurricane, the film. ऐसे रैंडमली कुछ. The one you love, the one. I love, 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 okay. love. I absolutely love the Hurricane. The you you seen it? I haven't seen it. Yeah, either. Denzel Washington. Ah. Uh, I personally feel he got robbed of the you know the Academy and Oscar that year. Yeah, Kevin Spacey, I think, got it for uh, American Beauty. Ah. And I I think uh, the way he did Ruben. What Hurricane. is it about? The Hurricane is is a story about a boxer. It's a true story. Ah. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a world champion. Hmm. And uh, there is a shootout in a bar where he happens to be there, and there was a racist cop. Uh, who saw this very famous black man because he was obviously a world champion and at, you know back I, i think it's set mujhe year nahi pata yaad hai i think 70s mm. guys 80s ki kahani hogi and obviously at that point the racism was at its peak mm. i mean we're still seeing white cops not necessarily doing justice to mm. you know uh, the black fraternity in the us even today uh, you know but back in the day it was obviously very in your face so he was framed for that murder which he had not done mm. so then obviously the man's career came to an end he was sitting behind bars and then there was this uh, uh, you know other black kid who was taken in by this uh, canadian uh, group of people to kind of study for a one year exchange or something you know and and that guy discovers a book written by ruben hurricane carter and then he reads it and then how he eggs them on to say that i think hurricane you know he was hurricane was because he used to hit punches really quick that's how he's got the nickname his name was ruben carter and then how he tells them and then how they are actually lawyers or something i remember and then they kind of get into it and they mm. fight and then eventually uh, he gets freedom yeah so you is know. it one of those boxing films ki jo boxing ke bare mein nahi hai jaise correct million dollar baby hmm. so it's not like it's not jake lamota hmm. it's not raging bull you yeah. know so like raging bull is again one of my yeah. very very favorite films i actually love rocky as well yeah. i love the whole series of rocky you know i think uh, it's there's just something about rocky that gets you going yeah. you know it's the quintessential underdog 
fighting against uh, you know and 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 you almost insert out to will uh, opponent i have loved it i have always loved rocky yeah. and i mean raging bull is a whole different you know thing of the way i think dino rodriguez mm-hmm. came out but yeah uh, that's more about a story of justice hurricane mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. is is more about that and it's amazing and the performance in that so i love films jo is level pe miss direct karte hain ki okay it's a boxer up story aise chalenge when mm-hmm. in the middle of it you realize ye to kisi aur hi cheez ke baare mein करेक्ट बहुत प्यारी होती है नहीं मतलब इट इज जॉन शिफ्टिंग जॉन शिफ्टिंग दैट दैट आई लव आई मीन आई थिंक यू नो कंप्लीटली अस्क्यूड कन्वर्सेशन बट इन द रीसेंट टाइम्स भूल भलैया टू इज एग्जैक्टली दैट काइंड ऑफ फिल्म इट्स काइंड ऑफ गोइंग इन दिस हॉरर कॉमेडी स्पूफिश वर्ल्ड एंड देन सडनली द लास्ट एक्ट द मिनट द बुजीज वर्जन कम्स इट्स अ कंप्लीट जॉन शिफ्ट टू अ बैक स्टोरी ट्रोमेटिक पेट्रियाकल एंड आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ द बैलेंस ऑफ दीस टू इज व्हाट मेड इट सच अ सक्सेसफुल फिल्म यू नो So yeah, but it's very challenging, huh? Yes, very challenging. To shift a genre and still keep the audience hooked is very, very tough. Yeah, I hadn't like been using this term for genre shifting films. Yeah. yeah, I should ask yeah. more questions about this. Sure. This is very You're welcome, good. Man. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we have talked about shows and movies. Kisi bhi time pe ab wapas aa sakte hain. Ha, koi se main bata suddenly yaad aa gaya. You asked me something else. You... I asked you about your favorite actors. Correct. So Denzel Washington, mm-hmm. absolute diehard Shah Rukh Khan fan. Nice. Yeah, I, I absolutely loved him pretty much. everything that i've seen any female actors that you really like love jennifer lawrence nice yeah i think you know she's a fine balance of a of a of a of a good actor honest and at the same time i don't know maybe i'm a little biased because i love her off screen persona as well yeah like you know just just the way she is yeah. and i think that she kind of brings that in very beautifully in almost every character that she plays yeah. you know so i i love i love watching her on screen and off screen i think yeah. she's just a live wire i should love julia roberts Yeah. You know, I mean listen, I'm a Meryl Streep fan because I think she is by far one of the, you know, she, you know, Judy Dance. I mean there's some great actors. But I enjoy the balance of um uh, you know, a, I don't know how to put it correctly, but you know someone who kind of plays to the gallery hmm. but is still in control of the craft. Yes. You, you know, and I think that's the most difficult balance to find. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. One is submitting to the craft completely and one is just playing to the gallery and one is kind of creating that perfect Venn diagram where yeah. you're you know really acting well you're staying in character but you're also playing to the gallery and you're enjoying yeah. it you know which i think shahrukh khan does so well yeah. you know he kind of balances both beautifully lovely and uh, who have been uh, some of your favorite villains of all time listen in india by far amrish puri hmm. i i feel honestly he's left a void yeah he's really left a void yeah like i mean you you know his his persona was such you you know it was uh, it he could cover up for bad writing true he could just cover up for bad writing he could cover up for a bad dialogue he could just cover up for anything bad by just putting his act on and bringing that uh, jo you know bringing that pace into that into yeah. that character and just giving that deathly stare i mean i've i've loved him i think I'm, because i i really feel like i genuinely feel like after him you know if you really see right after him a lot of the heroes mainstream actors started turning towards villains because mm. the the void was so irreplaceable yeah. that you needed that strong a personality to come in front of a big star to feel like there was a there was a there was a balance true you know uh, otherwise you just needed him you mm. just brought him on screen and you said okay there is a impossible villain to win over mm. and here's my hero and he's going to somehow get there yeah. and and you know and he's, he's a great actor man yeah. so yeah he's by far my uh, favorite villain here uh, i mean of course otherwise you know i've i've i loved edward norton in american history x so i don't think he was a villain there but it was mm. like a sort of a you know the character i thought he was phenomenal in that film i thought he was phenomenal in primal fear yeah. i think those two films for me are still ed norton i mean there was you know there's he's done i think painted veil vale was another good one but for me that those two mm. will always remain he's another actor i've really loved and admired over the years yeah. ed norton yeah yeah You know, I also want to talk uh, more about music now, so I'll like slightly shift into the music territory. Um, my first recommendation that I want to take is, which are some of your favorite movie soundtracks of all time, albums. Soundtracks. Yeah, it may sound so cheesy to you, but I love my heart will go on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. Like, I can't tell you how much I love it. <laughs> like, it's it's. It's embarrassing. I can see him sitting and covering his smile. Almost, he's like, "Yeah, what? Yeah, my heart will go on. Keep talking." You know, 
<laughs> but I just love that song, man. I love it. I love Titanic. I think it's one of uh, that's another film I would have to put in my yeah for sure, man. Yeah. Again, a great blend. It's commercial. Yes. It's fun. Genre it's, shifting. It's, it's yeah. I mean, look at where where it goes here. You have this Romeo Juliet world happening in this in this Titanic. Yeah. Which you are watching from the onset, knowing that this is a disaster film. Yeah. But you get so into that world. You know, she's going under. She's kind of dancing with him. There's a it's a quintessential plot. Hmm. Amir ladki, garib ladka. You know, it's got everything. All all the tropes that you want, and you root for it, and then boom, disaster strikes, and the whole genre shifts, and you're just loving. Great VFX, great performances. Mm. You know, if I was a girl, I would have had a crush on Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, having said that, it's not like I didn't have one being a guy because I think the whole world did at that <laughs> yeah. point. You know, uh, so yeah, I think you know it was it's it's it, yeah. So yeah, my heart will go on, man. Yeah, I think it's it's. I think that's the soul of that film. Mm. You know that 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 theme. You know, every time it kicked in, yeah. it evoked an emotion. You know? Yeah, I mean, Celine Dion is still performing it live in Vegas, if I'm not mistaken, twenty mm. five years mm. later. So yeah, so that. Uh, I mentioned I terminated to you before this. Yes. I personally feel that sh- ta 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 ta. That that whole T two world of background score was just phenomenal. Um, yeah, more action stuff, man. More uh, like the Mission Impossible theme. I love the action, the uh, the Bond trilogy like soundtrack, yeah. the Bond Super Messy, the Bond Ultimate. Yeah. Great, great yeah. soundtrack. That that is great. There's another very good. Uh, I feel underrated soundtrack is. From this film called Any Given Sunday. Okay. It's a film on uh, American football, oh. uh, NFL, hmm. and uh, it's Al Pacino. Hmm. There's Jamie Fox, hmm. uh, and you have to hear the the soundtrack. Hmm. It's hip hop. It's R and B, but the way it's fused into the actual sequences, I think one of the best uh, sport sequences that you can see. It's very difficult to shoot uh, American football. Mm. much like football in you know it's it's a it's a difficult sport to shoot in a film mm. you know to to understand what's going on yeah you can go the classic view what we see of you know wide shot and you know what the hell's yeah. going on but cinematically that's boring right yeah. you, you want to feel the actors and you want to feel the characters but the way they blended that the edit along with the music in any given sunday you love some of the time yeah. yeah there's some great tracks in it man since you like like the soundtracks of action films what's your thought on the hans zimmer dark knight and dark i write on hans zimmer man Uh, so I write a lot of scripts. My entire playlist. Oh, lovely! My entire playlist is Hans Zimmer. So, two types of playlists are made. Hans Zimmer, because it's the same in a world, right? Mm. So, one is where it's really painful and sad mm. when I have to write in that world, and one is a little more mm. drama, actiony, and so so whether it's Rush mm. on on which I Rush soundtrack is yes, is, yes. is outstanding, uh, Interstellar. It's endless, mm. you know. And I have like a good, I think one and a half hour playlist. So, loop is running on. लिखता रहता हूँ लिखता रहता हूँ इनफैक्ट समटाइम्स आई हैव आल्सो नरेटेड स्क्रिप्ट्स प्लेइंग हैंड्स इन मस कोर्स इन द बैकग्राउंड कोई जस्ट सेट्स द मूड या एवरेज सीन एवरेज प्लस हो जाता है ना इस द पावर ऑफ 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 गुड साउंड विद हैंड्स इन मर्ड बिकम्स गुड Yeah, it goes up two notches. You know. So you write on the aggression वाला soundtrack or the the slow. Depending on what I'm writing. Got it. And when I'm writing very chill, easy stuff, then I'm hearing uh, Japanese lo-fi. वो जो लड़की बैठ के देखिए वो लड़की YouTube पे नो देयर इज अ गाय आल्सो हु हैज कम एंड नहीं मुझे नहीं देखना लड़की इज आल्सो हु शो तू देख ले लड़के को मुझे क्यों रेकमेंड कर रहा है दिस रेकमेंडेशन इज सेफ फॉर योरसेल्फ नो इंटरेस्टेड एनिमेटेड गर्ल सिटिंग विद हर हेडफोन्स ऑन दैट आई एम हैप्पी टू लुक एट हर व्हेनेवर आई कैन टर्न टू द स्क्रीन बट दैट्स दैट्स माय दैट्स द इजी स्पेस यू नो व्हेन आई एम रीडिंग अ स्क्रिप्ट और व्हेन आई एम राइटिंग समथिंग लाइक सो या फॉर मी द इंस्ट्रूमेंटल स्कोर्स रियली मैटर Yeah. Like there are some nice hip hop versions that I found uh, back in the day in SoundCloud, uh, which I've kind of you know created a little, which have all your all the classics. You know your dong 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 dong. So it's got your Beethoven, it's got your Mozart, it's got anything and everyone you can think of, but it's fused with like modern day hip hop and so mm. R and B and stuff, but instrument. Mm. So it doesn't distract you when you're so. Is there any other like playlists? But I can recommend you. Nice. Helps. It's fun. Nice. And who are some of your other favorite artists from the music industry? Like you mentioned, Hans Zimmer. Hands down, again, I'm the old school boy. Um, by by a long stretch, Michael Jackson takes mm. it down. And I'm saying, the, by when I say a long stretch, I mean he's. I would not even say he's one to ten for me. He's one to hundred. Mm. And then everything else follows. I think when I was school, so I was that. I had this, you know, those double decker tape recorders back mm. in the day. Mm. Not the big systems I'm talking mm. about, which would flip on its own and yeah. switch the B side. You have to remove and turn it around. 
दो वन साइड में ना फ्रॉम सो दैट वॉज गिफ्टेड टू बी माई माई फादर नॉट मतलब कुछ ऐसा नहीं था कि बेटा ये तुम्हारा है बट आई नो मच लेटर इन लाइफ की ये मेरे लिए खरीदा गया था बिकॉज आई टू लव हियरिंग माइकल जैक्सन एंड एंड जेन्यूनली जो हम लोग सुनते हैं ना कि यार सुन सुन के टेप घिस दी बंदे ने मैंने एक्चुअली सुन सुन के उसकी टेपें घिसी हुई है सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट लोकल आई है सेलो टेप डन एवरी थिंग टू कैन ऑफ कीप हियरिंग यू नो आई मीन देर आर स्टोरीज अब माइकल जैक्सन एंड यू नो ये दर्ज अ लॉट इन इज लाइफ विच हैपन लेटर यू नो विच इज ऑल डिफरेंट टॉपिक यू नो आई एम but if you if you really kind of understand how he created his music and uh, and how he actually went into his the marriage of 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 what he wanted to say through his lines with the arrangement and the melody he kind of created a marriage of the three it wasn't like maine ye dhun bana liye iske upar main ye line likh raha hu fir uske baad hum log ek club amazing arrangement karenge hmm. he didn't work like that only you know okay. his entire thought process was it was it all came together as one piece you know Uh, there are lots of stories about Michael Jackson. I can I can go on and on about telling you, uh, you know, I, after off the wall became a blockbuster. He was signed up by Sony. Quick short story. Mm-hmm. I know I know I know you're looking at me saying, "Oh, he started it." But these are the stories. Yeah, he 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 kind of. Uh, I mean, this is from the books that I've read. Obviously, I unfortunately, you know, the last call we had, we couldn't talk about this between me and Michael. Um, so it's all here say <laughs> imagine <laughs> imaginary <laughs> calls main ek scene liye imaginary calls bahut kiye maine maine bahut baar back election se baat ki hai jab main chota tha so in fact i'll tell you there's a song it's smooth criminal hmm. you know usme uh, any are you okay any are you okay are you okay any you know hmm. you been hit by attack you been hit by smooth criminal tan 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 usme aage ek na ek word hai which sounds like harman okay oh. phonetically I'll never tell you what it is. You should please hear the song today, wow. and you will hear. It's a hard one, Barry. So I will rewind for, rewind forward. He took my name. I was a kid. It was the absolute high point of my day when I heard it. I was like, "Yeah, I'll listen to that song." But uh, so yeah, I went to a recording studio, sat down, uh, you know, worked for three days. Finally, three days, four days, five days, seven days. After eleven days, I think he called up Sony execs and said, "I'm ready." So Sony execs have paid him a massive amount fee because off the wall was a blockbuster. He was the first black artist to kind of break everything. Boom gets in there, the guy switches on, and all he makes them hear is. And stops. This is how's it? The guy stares around and say, "This is it?" And he goes, "Yeah." He spent eleven days just building this. I was like, it's nice. <laughs> like they were expecting that whole album to be played. We just need a riff. Made. Yeah. And it's so iconic that all of us sitting here, we just need to hear that, and you know, it's Billy Jean. Uh-huh. You know, and that's the that. So that's what I'm saying. So for him, while he was he used to write, he used to you know, kind of compose his music. Obviously, he was a phenomenal performer, dancer. It's it's amazing how he thought of that and then built a song around it. So his method was just genius. So yeah, it's Michael. Then there's a singer called Ingrid Mikkelsen. Okay. So she she sings very acoustic, mm. you know, very very simplistic songs, but her words are just magical. Mm. So you know, there's you and I. There, there are lots of songs. So you must hear Ingrid mm-hmm. whenever you can, man. Uh, that's another favorite. Yeah, man, I love Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, unabashed. I love him. I used to love Eminem a lot back in the day, but now I don't love him anymore. Your favorite Eminem album? Yeah. Awesome. I, yeah, I would have to say, you know, uh, I would. It's hard to pick, man. Mm-hmm. It's like if you ask me a favorite Michael Jackson song, I'm not going to give you a song. Fair enough. Yeah, because I I think it'll be unfair to yeah. to what all we've grown up. But even in Hindi, yar, I can tell you an album which yeah, I please. I can tell you albums which I've really please, loved. Please, please. Uh, yeah, I should love Adnan Sami. Are same. Ella. The whole bhigi bhigi ra to me. The Amitabh Bachchan one and all that. Manak uh, na 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 na. Kabi nahi that. कभी तो नजर मिला वॉज एक्चुअली नेवर वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट बट भीगी भीगी वॉज समथिंग दैन आई आई रिमेंबर वंस ड्राइविंग डाउन फ्रॉम माई मम माई मम्स फ्रॉम आगरा तो हम लोग आगरा से दिल्ली गाड़ी में जा रहे थे वी एंड माई कजन ब्रदर एंड एड अ डेट इन डेली आफ्टर मच स्ट्रगलिंग ऑन एस एम एस बैक इन द डे सो द आइडिया वॉज वील गो ड्राइव टू सो वी टू डेली फॉर अ डेट इन द इवनिंग टू हैव कॉफी एंड देन कम बैक एट नाइट दैट वॉज द प्लान 
and yeah so we were only hearing adnan sami on the way yeah. uh, there was that carlos santana song maria maria uh, uh, which i was a massive 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 geek on i should only put it on loop wo mera wo problem hai if i love a song na then i abuse it yeah matlab i'm only hearing it on on repeat point and again point and again point and again point and again till then it becomes like a part of my dna yeah and then it goes away and then it'll always kind of recover yeah. wherever you know recover wherever so yeah और मतलब हिंदी फिल्म एल्बम्स तो बहुत सारी हैं जो पसंद है रोजा आपको मैं रोजा का एक फनी किस्सा बताता हूँ प्लीज उस टाइम पे ना जब रोजा आई थी माय डैड हैड मेड अ फिल्म कॉल्ड दिलवाले विद अजय देवगन सुनील शेट्टी उसकी उसके गाने बहुत हिट हुए थे वो जीता था जिसके लिए कितना हसीन चेहरा मौका मिलेगा सातों जन्म सो एल्बम ऑफ द ब्लॉक बस्टर तो हमारे पे ना कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कैसेट घर पर बहुत सारी पड़ी थी दैट वॉज दे ऑफ ईर ऑफ कसेट्स सो वी वुड गेट विच वुड क्लियरली से कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कसेट नॉट फॉर सेल Hmm. and dad would get a couple thousand distributors ko bhejte the khud log aate the you know it's like for the, he was a producer he was a director so what me and my sister used to do we used to love hearing songs mujhe roza bahut pasand hai so we loved roza so i went paise to hote nahi the hamare paas jugle we were all pocket money kids so we took two cassettes of dilwale went to the store and said aapko ye do denge aapko ek roza de do ah and he bought it to jugle bada ye bhi bikti hai to usko to do mil gayi and then we had a whole stash of dilwale complimentary cassettes oh. which you would keep going to the store and say ye achhi lag raha hai ye do rakh lo ek ko de lo that became a currency oh. so our currency was that this is very good yeah. so both in the 90s around that time jitni bhi edne ho jab bombay aayi thi hmm. so every time you would feel i think a couple of years later rangila hmm. so dilwale was kind of an evergreen hit so it almost became currency which you could keep going and chucking to it became like a nice trade off So we had a great collection of nineties music nice. sitting with us. Yeah, man, it was good. You know, sent fun days. Yeah, and uh, I also want to talk about your relationship with books. How has yeah? Glad you finished the statement with books. Yeah. Say so you want to talk about my relationships. I said, yeah, man. So you know, unfortunately, we haven't really gotten along well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Books. When did the breakup happen? I mean, she's not broken up. She's just been showing a lot of attitude to me lately. Situation. She's not been giving me time. Situationship. Situationship is going on. Maybe what I have learned in my office. One month ago, there was a the, 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 the young kid working with us called Pranav. And 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 they is talking about something and he said yeah it's like a situation ship so I said ये क्या है अब मैं ये कौन से नए नए वर्ड तुमने निकालते रहते हो then he explained to me what a situation ship is then I realized that pretty much I've uh, lived my entire life in situation ship <laughs> little did I know you know it, it always felt like no we are in it but we were actually in situation ships all our life so it was a bit of a harsh eye opener but uh, yeah it's it's past so it's okay but yeah so my yeah so my relationship with books is bit of a situation ship So yeah, my my problem is attention span. Yeah. And who I I can't read a full book which is like, yeah. matlab two three hundred pages na. Me me zone out ho jato. So for me everything is very short. So I I have books where I've read a lot of short stories. Nice. A lot of books about Ravindra Nath Tagore ki short stories hain, Prem Chand ji ki mm. short stories hain. You know, so those I really enjoy reading. Uh, you know, I don't know if you remember there was this. I mean, I'm sure you would. Readers Digest. Yeah, about dude, I love reader, readers. Correct. हर हर महीने हर हफ्ते जो भी हर महीने आती थी. Yeah, yeah, yeah. तो हमारे पास भी घर पे पूरा collection था. Yes. तो उसमें there were a lot of short stories. If you remember, yes. people kind of wrote some true incidents, anecdotes, some funny stuff that used to be you know daily thing, yeah. work work के लिए. Yeah. So I've always enjoyed that kind of anecdote, hmm. shorter stories, hmm. which I feel like kind of catch my attention and I enjoy consuming them. Because otherwise, I think when I think of books, I get I think my You know, PTSD होता है स्कूल का <laughs> कि बुक किताब बड़ी no, so, I, मार्कर निकल के आ जाता है कि ये मार्क करना पड़ेगा ये याद रखो ये एग्जाम में आएगा आई आल्सो आज बिकॉज़ यू मेंशन यू रेड माइकल जैक्सन बायोग्राफी सो 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 माइकल जैक्सन रॉबर्ट डी नीरो थ्री फोर बुक्स ऑन जेम्स डी माल एंड ब्रांडो Mr. Bachchan, hmm. Steve Jobs, those I enjoy yeah. because you know they are how would I say it? It's true. You're you're reading about a person. You're reading about his experiences, mm. the downs, the ups. So you're kind of you know it's almost voyeuristic. You're kind of in, in yeah. voyeuristic to a man you kind of you know idolize, love. You yeah. want to learn. You're inspired from. Who many pass? बहुत सारी हैं. Who many पैसी बहुत पड़ी हैं. But I can't like मेरे को I can't read a novel. Yeah. Like you know, and I know I I missed out a lot in life. I mm. wish I could. Yeah. You know, I've tried. Uh, much like Game of Thrones, you know, mm. I've tried. Yeah. But who you know, she just. She <laughs> doesn't give in, <laughs> so can't help it. I'm rejected yeah. by her again and again. Yeah. So yeah, shorter stories I enjoy a lot. Archie's, for example, yes, when I was young, yes. I used to love. Yes. Uh, 
I still do actually. Yeah. But I also want to talk about video games now. Yeah. So yeah, like कैसे चालू हुआ ये रिश्ता हमें like पूरा बताइए video. Yeah, so video games is it's a great relationship. Uh, it's very time consuming. Mm. It's not necessarily good for your health, your eyes. I'm I'm trying. I'm talking like a parent now. <laughs> I'm sounding like my mom suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so no, there was a time when I was obsessed with games. Yeah, I had about two hundred and fifty titles. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so when I on like your PS or Xbox, like Xbox. I'm now PS. Hmm. But whose time? Pina, I had uh, the my first film as an actor was Love Story 2015 hmm. in 2000. क्या बात है ये मेरे आने से पहले रट्टा मारो मैं ये अपना पूछेगा ये तो मैं गलत नहीं कर सकता सो 2008 ना सो एट दैट पॉइंट देयर वाज अ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्सबॉक्स इन द फिल्म लाइक इन फिल्म होता है ना वैसे सो दैट टाइम एक्सबॉक्स न्यू माय लव फॉर इट सो दे एक्चुअली गेव मी एन एक्सबॉक्स व्हिच हैड लव स्टोरी का पोस्टर इंस्क्राइब्ड ऑन इट वाज अ स्पेशल एडिशन है ना एंड देन दे गॉट टू नो दैट आई एम प्लेइंग दो यू नो देयर गेम्स वो मतलब इतनी सारी गेम्स खेली हुई एक्शन एक्शन की बट देन आफ्टर अ पॉइंट Honestly, I gave it all away to my nephews, है ना? Okay. Because it 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 becomes a vortex. Yeah. Once you're in it, now you don't get. It's like going into an editing room. When you're sitting in an editing studio, you enter at eight nine in the evening. You start editing. You only realize when the birds start chirping. कि यार छः बज गए. Because वो एक वो ऐसा तो कारा सा धीरा सा कमरा है एक स्क्रीन है आप उसी के अंदर वर्ल्ड में घुसे हो. And gaming is exactly like this. Yes. So now what I've done is I've I've kind of gotten away from your you know those. तो पबजी पबजी आ गई बट गॉड ऑफ वॉर एंड यू नो ऑल दोस क्रेजी वंस दैट हैड बैक इन द डे ब्लेड की भी कंपनी तो काफी सारी गेम्स थी आई हैव नाउ गॉटन इनटू स्पोर्ट गेम्स सो फीफा इज 95% ऑफ व्हाट आई प्ले अच्छा या व्हेन विद फ्रेंड्स और लाइक आल्सो सो आई हैव फ्रेंड्स हु आई प्ले समटाइम्स ऑनलाइन आई एम आल्सो प्लेइंग द आई वाज इन सीजन 1 आई गॉट किक्ड आउट इन द मिनट आई एंटर्ड आई गॉट किक्ड आउट द वेरी नेक्स्ट यू प्ले 10 गेम्स यू हैव टू कीप योर आई डोंट नो इफ यू आर अ फीफा प्लेयर बट आई गॉट किक्ड आउट ऑफ सीजन 1 It's very tough, yeah. Okay. Because I think they do a lot of tricks now. Ah. I'm still classic football player. Like I want my nice through balls and great passes, yeah. and you know, you know, you look up chug chug so rainbow kick, yeah, left left, L L R one two thing. So you look at the screen and you're like, bro, football khel le yaar. Ye circus giri kyu kar raha hai, you know? And that you know, it's it's like you've seen those Instagram videos, right? The guys do the football tricks. Yes. Whether they do this or hold it, they'll do this. Now it's great, but. He he's phenomenal at his football tricks, but he can't beat a Messi at what he does. Yeah, Messi is not showing you tricks; he's playing football. So I just feel like FIFA is now 23. At least it's kind of getting into the space where it's moving away from uh, real solid football to giving an edge to players who can do tricks, because they're ah. constantly twirling, they're doing a 360 around you, they're doing a rainbow flake, they're you know they're just doing these tricks and they're dodging you. Which is very frustrating for a, yeah. a, you know, a main like a authentic purist like me who's been playing FIFA since, since I think I know FIFA. But uh-huh. I think that was my only thing in life for which I used to study hard, is for that could get me my FIFA. Yeah. Like you know, वो पहले पहले अब हम लोग हम वी लेवल अंधेरी वी वी शुरू करो हाजी अली हीरा पन्ना वे पिक्ट अप आर फर्स्ट गेमिंग कंसोल फ्रॉम देर यार व्हेन आई वाज आई थिंक ट्वेल्व और समथिंग और ये फीफा सीरीज कब से चल रही है लाइक टू जैसे 2023 आ गया अभी तो 23 है आई रिमेंबर आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई स्टार्ट प्लेइंग इट वाज आई थिंक 5 और 6 और समथिंग गॉट इट फीफा हैज बीन अराउंड या डू यू सी अ चेंज इन फीफा ऐसे लगता है बस सेम नो नो चेंजेस यार आई आई एवरी टाइम द न्यू सीजन कम्स आउट देयर इज अ शिफ्ट देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट राइट नाउ द शिफ्ट कैन बी इट कैन फेवर सर्टेन स्टाइल्स ऑफ प्लेयर एंड इट कैन एंड यू नो Players like myself feel that it's not favoring me season on season. I'm going further away from being Got the good it. player that I used to be. Maybe also because I'm not spending that much time on it, yeah. you know. But no, I don't think so. But I knew earlier also I used to spend less time and I was good at it. Yeah. Now you bought tricks over here, you know. But like for me, like football. Hmm. If you talk about, about content, football. I don't think there's any greater content than football, and I'll tell you why. And it's a very bizarre theory that I have, right? It's like it's like a perfect film sometimes. Like if I watch Messi. I watch. I went to. I went to see the World Cup final because it wow. meant the world to me. Wow. Yeah. Um, it, it's wow, but it. Yeah. Anyway, I, something personal that wasn't as wow, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. So I. I went and and because for me like that whole story, right? This this man whom you think is should be the greatest of all time, is not the greatest of all time because he hasn't won a World Cup, mm. which is really unfair because you need eleven players to win a damn cup. You know, it can't be on a singular person. It would not be a team sport. I understand if he played tennis, yeah. but fine, it's an argument. You got to suck it up as a tired Messi fan that hey, yeah. this is how it's going to be. But eventually, 
I think eventually, finally, when I, you know, when we watch it, and Messi scored the first goal outside the box, nice little kick, you know, uh, drive down the post, and then boom, boom, two goals before you know it in quick yes. succession, and you lost the first match. And in the World Cup, it's very unforgiving because you only have three matches to qualify. Exactly. If you lost the first one, you got to win the next two. And here is this whole World Cup hyped around, will Messi win it and be the greatest? And then, so you've got yeah. a man who deserves to be there. He's like the quintessential hero who's not getting it, has to fight against all odds at, at not his prime, at an age where it's his last chance. So it's that hero who's got that last chance to kind of get there. Loses the first match in the most unexpected manner. Yeah, man. And then from there on, pretty much has to win every match to win the World Cup. And then they do. And then he does it <laughs> against all odds. And with a team which is not necessarily yeah. a favourite team. You know, it's a bunch of young boys who've come together and a very young coach. So, it's a perfect script. Yeah. It's like a perfect film right there. Yeah. So, which is why I love playing FIFA. Because, uh, though I, 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 you know, the EJ is soft, right? Yeah. So, I, when I was building my room, I told you my wife, before we got married, I was building my room. So, I was like, I'm going to make a house. And then COVID was So, we stopped. I put these soft mats for a part of my design so that, you know, the last minute goals in FIFA which frustrate you. <laughs> bang the remote. <laughs> it'll nicely bounce back up. You catch it and say, sorry. And <laughs> go back to playing. <laughs> which is not the case now. So, I can't bang my remotes anymore. <laughs> Neither, yeah. And it's also expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, any other game you would like to particularly talk about or recommend? No, man. Right now, for me, FIFA is everything, to be very honest. I do have a couple of other car racing games, NFS, old yeah. school, uh, Tekken, Perfect. Olympics, tennis, you know. Yeah. But I'm saying, honestly, 95% is it. It's only when I get my ass whooped is when I switch to switch another game. To another game. detox kar <laughs> You know, it's like getaway. It's like one of yeah. those things. So, for me, these games are just so I can get yeah. away from a bad football game. Yeah. Which now, is unfortunately happening very often lately. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to take some product recommendations from you and I want to start with sound and music. Hmm. So any like headphones or like is a music device, sound device that you yeah. would recommend that people like make an investment in. Which is your favorite brand by the way? Yeah, so I, I, what I have at home is Definitive. Hmm. Okay, so Definitive speakers, system, I don't know if you've heard of them. I don't know yeah. about them, sorry. So your cash fell down. Sorry. Yeah. Bill a bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So definitive sound system is what I'm using at home right now for myself. It's 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 on the upper end. Okay. But I have to be honest, I've really worked hard to earn it and keep it okay. because I love sound. So I Yeah, I go Bose Marshall tak pata tha Haan, nahin, ye Bose Marshall se thoda upar hai. Quality is very upper. Yes, I was asking that. Are you being modest when you say thoda hai? Actually, it's... I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit. Yes. It's a modest. Tha. थोड़ा I've got eight, nine speakers ah. in a distance of probably 15 feet. Oh. <laughs> so, 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 a bit of an... But honestly, like when, for example, when you're playing FIFA or you're watching an action film or you're watching Extraction, but the people genuinely, like you, you know, if you sit in a theater and you hear sound travel from left to right, you'll, you'll feel, uh, if you're playing FIFA, you're watching a football match, you're hearing the crowd going, eh, oh. you, you'll hear that at the back. And you'll hear the kick from here. You'll hear a comment. Ah. So you, and I mean it, like you, you can hear the differentiation of sound. You can hear the, the depth in the sound. Yeah. You can hear the sharpness and you'll feel the kick at the same time. So I think that's very important. Ah. I mean, I'm going to touch my mouth. Okay. So I'm not going to touch So I'm going to touch my mouth. So I'm you know. So I'm okay with that. Like, yeah. like I, you know, you're looking handsome to me. So why my glasses, you know? <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? You know I, mean, I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm being me. I mean it. Like. Thank you. <laughs> so, but, you know, so for me, na, wo unis bis chal jayega. Haan. Sound nahi chalega. Mazab, you know, that, nice. I mean, yeah, I gotta clean my ears and make sure I can hear everything. So, definitive ke headphones bhi aate hai? Like nahi, yaar. Nee. Achha, just the speakers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which headphones do you have? That's where Bose comes into play. Ah, right? which, which Bose? So I have the overheads. I have QC, the overheads. This number one, I don't know. But the overheads are there. I bought it at a duty free. They were two. One was expensive, one was on sale. So I bought the one on sale because they look the same to me. Ah. But they both, also the guy told me that they sound, you know. See, the more expensive ones are the ones that have a lot of bass. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's good, yeah. I mean, I just feel like why am I blocking sound? And I don't put two headphones ever, by the way. Ah, you just put one. Yeah, I learned that from my teacher back when I was I was I was studying film oh. in UCLA, and I had this teacher where I was wearing my headphones, na, and I was kind of we crossed the zebra crossing together and we met on the other side, and said something very nice to me. But I love music, so I well, don't know. I have a sort of cool si feel, yeah. I'm a 19-20 year old kid, I'm going to the streets, listening to cool music. Sun uh, I was hearing Rahman tracks that time. I was in love with him. still am and he just told me one thing he said you know the problem is you're losing out on the sound of the rest of the world when you're constantly doing this hmm. so while you enjoy your music when you want to really enjoy music sit at home and enjoy it if you really want to enjoy the sound of it but if you want to be entertained and from a safety perspective you see a lot of people especially these guys who on zomato drivers if you've seen scooter yeah. pace figgy you know do do headphone leke chalate rehte hain so yaar you don't know if something Wow, is coming through you. You don't have a guy honked at a certain thing. You don't have there's a because you're so cut off with sounds around you when you're out in the real world. True. And at the same time, you're missing out on the soundscape of the real world. Sometimes yeah. that is also beautiful to kind of take in. You know, Apple worked on this and they created this new feature called uh, there was noise cancellation on and off, mm. but then they created this new feature feature called transparency. So you put that on, you'll feel the noise cancel. You'll just hear all Understood. the noises around you. and everything will blend in with each other it's beautiful otherwise like jab aap is yeah jab aap otherwise ear pod lagate ho to thodi si awaz katti hai Correct. even when there is no, no noise cancellation but default you know yes. anything i put in my ear including my finger some yeah. but so they worked on this yeah. by creating the transfer but it's a smart thing to do because i actually yes. feel very dangerous mai to jo yeah. jab bhi whenever yeah. late at night when the wife is asleep and i order my little burgers so what i tell the zomato guys bhai ek kaan hata liya karo because raat ko especially You never yeah. know, yeah. Who's honking? Who's doing yeah. what? Now I'll ask a, a modest question in regard to product uh, product recommendations. This is something I ask all my guests. Anything you purchase for less than ten thousand rupees that you would ask people to invest in a product? Yeah, ये बड़ा सही था. ये सब खरीद लो. तू नहीं यार. My current Bluetooth headphones are from I think Bot. Ah. And you know, and no one plus. Two are मेरे पास. एक चौदह सौ है, एक तेरह सौ है. Ah. और मैं पिछले ढाई साल से use कर रहा हूँ. I'm not exaggerating. I have one my in my in my in my car which I use for my car and and home and one's on my office desk. Hmm. I've been using them for almost two and a half three years now. Hmm. And कुछ नहीं हुआ. And I I always everyone tells me you're jinxing it. Now I've said it for the last one year कि ये साला खराब ही नहीं होता है चाहे मैं कुछ भी करूँ. And I'm on my phone a lot in the day. So I think I will be the smartest and the, and you can remove it the minute it clicks. Like uh. both the heads touch. It's it's switched off technically, ah. so the battery life remains, and you're also not in the part of that where Bluetooth yeah. radiation non-stop is going. A little bit will happen, I'm sure. Fair enough. So yeah. that's a really good, smart investment which I've made. And when you say product, you mean sound products? No, general? no, in general, anything. It can be like people recommend plants, Kindle, sneakers, anything. It can be anything. Yeah, below ten thousand, the world is. So much below ten thousand. About ten thousand is luxury. Ah, uh, about ten thousand is definitive. Ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> correct. It's oh, luxury. I feel like about ten thousand is then you are just you are going for you know. I mean honestly, like I think majority of my clothes would be hmm. well under ten thousand. Ten thousand to upper limit ho gaya. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I, so I'm I'm very like yeah. You will not hopefully ever see a logo on my shirt or ah. anything. You will see a symbol. Which you will not know what it is. Be some obscure star, some dinosaur, oh, like some random. But it won't be the logo. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't believe under ten thousand is the world. Yeah, it's all brand. 
Uh, you're paying for the brand. I mean, really, what in your daily life? Of course, see cars and all that. We know cost more. Hmm. What in your daily life do you really need? You, it's the same tease, yeah. It's just they just put Sorry a nice, which is fine. There is a value to a brand. I don't question it. You know, but that's one of. Yeah. वो luxury है ना वो party में date पे जा रहे हो. True. लगना है कि थोड़ा दिखा देते हैं कि हमने भी पैसे कमाए हैं वो वाला जोन है तो फिर पैर लो बड़ा तो वेस्ट आई डोंट थिंक इट मैटर्स या ऑफ माय लास्ट क्वेश्चंस आर यू अ फूडी एंड वुड यू हैव एनी फूड स्लैश रेस्टोरेंट रेकमेंडेशन आई अ बर्गर गाय ओके ओके आई लव बर्गर्स जिमीज बर्गर ओह ही मेड मी हैव इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई लव जिमीज बर्गर इट इज इनसेन देयर इज जिमीज बर्गर एंड एक मिनट मैं अपनी जोमेटो की हिस्ट्री पे जाता हूं तुझे बताता हूं मेरे रेकमेंडेशंस क्या है There are uh, two three burger places which I am in love with. Jimmy's sits right on top, and there's one more. Yeah, I can see the visual of the burger, <laughs> but I'm not remembering the name, which is really bad. But it it is phenomenal. Yeah, all my last orders are Jimmy. Jimmy but let Jimmy, me Jimmy. name the the main ones. No, which are the main hmm? burger places? Good flipping, Good flipping. buddy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Good flipping, but I mean I must tell you I've just scrolled through. If I've had the last twenty five orders, then twenty one are. Jimmy's and and then one two is one is good flipping and then there's there's also Hundo's Pizza. Mm. I don't know if you had that. I'm a, I love I love exploring food, so I don't I'm not a loyalist from that perspective. I have to mm. be very honest, right? I'm a loyalist to the food. I may not be a loyalist to the place that I'm ordering for. Uh. So for me, like every time I see good ratings, I'm not a little jeep sound. I'm I'm going to go and see some ratings. कौन से पे किस पे रेटिंग ज्यादा है क्या किसी ने कुछ लिखा है ये तो ये तो ये अजीब पार्ट है या नहीं है ये अजीब पार्ट नहीं है ये तो सब करते हैं अच्छा इसलिए नहीं मतलब मैं बोलूं मतलब लाइक आई 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 स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बिफोर आई विल ऑर्डर दैट वन बर्गर एंड देन आई एम ऑलवेज गोइंग टू ट्राई समथिंग न्यू सो वंस आई हैव हैड अ बर्गर एंड आई हैव लव्ड इट आई विल रिपीट इट टू थ्री टाइम देन ऑन देन आई विल ऑर्डर टू वे आई विल ऑर्डर माय जिमीज फॉर एग्जांपल बट देन आई विल ट्राई दिस न्यू सो दैट एंड आई विल ट्राई अगर ये फेल हो गया तो मेरा बैकअप प्लान है oh. and then of course you know, there's a house there are so many people at home somebody or the other will have it so वो waste का तो chance ही नहीं है you know mm-hmm. and then I'm I'm uh, suppose uh, I'm giving it to the you know my guys working at home yeah, my boy yeah. uh, they'll be very happy to have it and वो खुश मैं खुश so it's a win-win situation but I keep experimenting lovely yeah especially yeah. when I have people in office now want to order food The secret is always order from a place I've never ordered from before. Oh. तो क्यों experiment वो bill उनके नाम पे पड़ जाता है ना क्या तुम्हारे चक्कर में मैंने experiment किया खराब भी अच्छा अच्छा हो गया तो हरमन very good खराब हुआ ऐसे यार I mean I tried it for the first time. But so do you enjoy like uh, making people have the food of the places you love? कि यार तू Jimmy's का खाओ अच्छा. Of course. Chana? Like if you are a burger person, then I yeah. goes without saying I would say Jimmy's से खाओ uh, या yeah, good flipping से खाओ. Yeah. yeah. But yeah for me pizzas, burgers, otherwise honestly home cooked food. Hmm. Everything else for me. But yes, if I go out like Asian, if I want, then Fu. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've been to Fu. I haven't. Have you heard of Fu? I I no no no. F O O. Okay. Uh, okay okay. Like, <laughs> like Michael Jackson, it's Fu. Where 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 is There's it? There's one here in Andheri. Okay. There is one. I uh, go today only. Yeah, genuinely you love it. It's a very mm. good place also. Mm. And then there's my my favorite restaurant will be Bastion. Mm. By a long stretch. Mm. So if I'm here, then it's Fu. If I'm there, then it's Bastion. Bastion, I think is. Have you been to Bastion? No, no, I have. कोई जाना हो तो मुझे बताना मैं table book करा दूँगा. Oh, अच्छा वहाँ पे है table का. Bill तुझे भरना पड़ेगा. Table की booking मैं करा दूँ. Let me reiterate. अरे चला काफी क्या मेरे को आगे बजे सर आपका आगे का bill चौबीस हजार का भर दो. That's a fantastic place. Yeah. Nice. Great food and great ambience also. Nice. I first go to a place like keeping my keeping in mind the ambience here. Yeah. yeah. The... Then to Bastion you love. Okay. And Fu, Fu's got very cool, nice, easy vibe. Yeah. Bastion is just. And you know, and like those dim yellow lights. Ah, so then then you should go to Fu. Achha. Bastion is your theatrical experience. Okay. It's like going into a theater. Yeah. Fu is like this great digital content that you will get. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh, yeah. Guys, do you have any questions? Hindal, do you have any question? You mentioned that you are also writing. Yeah. So is that something you picked up like from books or like is it something that you? No, yeah, see, I was, I was, I used to assist my father when he was directing actively. So at that point, now they used to have dictaphones. Right. So they say, four or five people were sitting. There was Anis Bazmi used to write a lot with Dad, Robin Da, Robin Bard. They would all sit. Uh, uh, Akash Kurana ji. They would sit and they would have a dictaphone kept in the middle. And they would talk for five, six hours and discuss script, character, ye one, and then they would go away. And then the dictaphone was passed over to me. So, sit up, sit down, six hours, listen. Rewind forward, rewind forward, and then make your notes, hmm. and then write down everything we've discussed. So then you have to write down that this was the idea you all discussed. This is what you recommended. This is what he rejected. 
वो छह घंटे के बीच में तीन घंटे तो इधर उधर की बातें होती थी गॉसिप की खाने की उसकी उसकी विच वॉज द फन पार्ट ऑफ एक्चुअली हियरिंग एवरी थिंग बट आई थिंक फॉर मी दैट वॉज माई लर्निंग यू नो बिकॉज यू सेट इन दो रूम फर्स्ट हैंड विद दीज गाइज हुआ मेकिंग सिनेमा एंड यू नो दे डेंट कम फ्रॉम uh the uh, schooling it was oh. all instinct it was all natural right eventually when you look at a book today and we talk about three act structure or oh. we talk about whatever we talk about right character arcs etc it all eventually came from people who instinctively made films and repeatedly a certain thing worked and which is why this became theory right right, right. theory didn't come before theory came oh. after those practicals right so these guys i thought came from the world of just knowing it oh. discovering it and then i went and studied film and then my mom pushed me into writing actually she felt that i had a knack and uh, yeah i've written a uh, yeah i've written a uh, quite a few things man nice. lots lots already produced uh, under pavaja studios which is our production man a yeah. lots is uh, in uh, pre production stage being yeah. casted lots is being written i love writing that's my reason i produce predominantly is uh, so i can write and tell the wow. stories i want to tell and not otherwise you know right man love as a producer like you let's say someone had to send you a script then uh, what would be the things that you look out for in a script see the different stages of a script one is your story uh, on a story level i it's kind of hard for me to assess because very rare that you'll have a story which is very unusual and outlandish right mm. predominantly everything kind of falls into a very similar world it's really the nuances the character that i would look at in a story you know or if yes there is something innovative you know but i think the which challenge na is not really at the story level the challenge is at the screenplay level hmm. you know i can i can give you a two minute story right idea right now and you could say sounds banging and then i could put you on a film for two year two hours and yaar ye kya bana diya isne to wo jo transition hai na screenplay ka i think that for me is 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 the way you construct scenes See, eventually you fall down to very similar stories you know like we were talking about titanic earlier hmm. it is the romeo and juliet format it's, i mean i believe shakespeare has written everything Yes. Honestly, there is nothing left between you know Leo Tolstoy, Stanislavski, obviously whatever he's taught, and now she. But it's, so everything is there. Yeah. You just have to now figure, and obviously there are now derivatives of that that we kind of uh, you know find ourselves in when we. So for me, that that I think is is crucial to find the right screenplay, the scene construction, characterization, uh, theme. So mm-hmm. I write down whatever I, whatever script I write down. I spend uh, X number of time to let's say write it. but my first and foremost thing is to get the theme right what am i really saying through this film you know what is your subliminal layer theme what is your primary theme and what are your other thought so technical ho raha hai but you get my point like you know what is a theme b theme etc etc and so since you uh, mentioned our generation's diminished attention span yeah do you see a future of theater absolutely man captive audience theatrical experience you know it's it's i feel the way we are making the same film see when you you, you see you got to keep me you when you go to the theater if you sit in the back seat na you watch a film and you're watching a film and you're enjoying it and suddenly you'll see a scene where you'll suddenly feel ye thoda bore kar raha hai mere ko scene and just quickly pan down and you'll see lights popping up in the theater because suddenly the phones are coming out you know and you'll know the scene is dropping so effectively what's happened is when you're going to a theater mm. you're mentally prepared to watch a 2 hour film right unlike when you're scrolling So it's not like I'm expecting a short form content, right? I'm walked into the theater to enjoy a two-hour experience, but the pace with which I enjoy it, the engagement level that I need now is far greater than what I would have needed when I didn't have that mobile phone. Yeah. Because now the minute and think about all of us right now. Abhi main bol do ki yar, gadi aari hai, driver apka gadi leke aara hai ya ap ab Uber ka wait kar rahe ho. Wo, matlab he could be saying ki main samne mood pe hu. Wo ap okay karke sida apne phone mein jaake ya to WhatsApp pe chale jaoge, Instagram pe chale jaoge, Twitter pe chale jaoge, even for the thirty seconds. we can't stand 30 seconds and just see the world hmm. we just can't yeah. you know you there may be holdings coming outside your house which you may not have noticed hmm. wo aake udhar ke chali gayi aapko pata hi nahi hai because you're so sucked into your phone and your so i feel like when you go to the theater you you will want to watch it you've gone with that mindset i think it's upon uh, people like us who make content to make it that much more engaging and exciting for the viewer to to kind of you know it's you're, you're not only now fighting for the audience's attention you're also fighting that mobile phone in his pocket and hoping yeah. he doesn't go there true so makes makes for better content for viewers i i i also have a recommendation for you please uh since uh, you if you want to ever rewatch hurricane the yeah. movie your favorite movie you can listen to bob dylan's song hurricane yeah. which is about ruben carter yeah. himself and this is the story of is that the one Sorry? this is the story of the hurricane exactly. i'm glad you've heard it all right? beautiful
Lovely, lovely. This was great. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Aman. This was a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Also, we do this thing. Uh, our episode ke end mein because these are long conversations. We give a hashtag and ask people to comment that hashtag so that we know ki yahan tak video dekh. Yeah. So, do you have a hashtag, a wild hashtag that you want to give? <laughs> hashtag. Uh... Glad you reached here. Yeah. So use the hashtag glad you reached here or glad I reached here. Yeah. Glad I reached here. <laughs> glad I reached here in the yeah. comments and tune into Chalchitra Talkies whenever you can and enjoy these elongated, beautiful, nice conversations about recommendations and a fun host and a great team around. Great. Genuinely, I had a good time. Thank you so much. Nice. Very easy, comfortable. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.